All right, let's try to get rid of this crap right here. Finally got my plate. I don't have a fender eliminator. I'm gonna see if uh, I can go to Home Cheapo or something or maybe like modify this to just use it. I don't wanna spend, the cheapest one I saw was on eBay from Qingchong, China and it was like uh, 45 bucks. But even that, like I'm like, yeah, see if I can save some money. But some of these, ooh, $200, bro. Like, for a license plate holder, fender eliminator. Not today. Of course, to make any sense at all, you have to take apart the whole thing just to get to the stupid fender. There it is. Jesus. Now I'm gonna take this apart and see uh, see what we're working with. It's a T20 Torx. Let's see what we got here. Very promising. Let's go ahead and uh, take all this stuff off. So this is the part that mounts to the uh, subframe right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this part off with the Dremel. And then this is the, uh, this is the license plate mount with the light. And uh, I wanna see if I can mount it something like that. And I would have my uh, license plate visible. So we're gonna play around with it a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this part off. Should be pretty quick. Got my Dremel right here. I'm just gonna cut this part off, like I said. Now uh, you can use the same Dremel to make it pretty if you want. All right. Check that out. Next, I'm gonna cut. Uh, I'm gonna cut this right here, and I'm just gonna cut right along like this right here. I'm just gonna keep it as flat as possible, and I'm gonna mount it uh, something like that. And I'm just gonna keep this light. It's LED. That's the only light I'm gonna keep, and I'm gonna run it through here, something like that. And it'll just, it'll just bolt on. I'll figure out a way, even if I have to use like a JB Weld or something. Uh, whatever works, man, whatever works. Save you guys some money. You know, I'm all about DIY and saving money on this channel. we go right there yep there's like these two uh 
two little tab things and they somehow fit like perfectly in here these two things are basically what, uh, what holds the screws for this light so all you got to do is kind of right where those two uh, indents are you could do this boom like that and I think like it should be good enough and then right here right in the middle of this see that there's like a hole and it's like perfect I can put a screw right in there nobody will see because of the license plate so that's what I'm gonna do I just gotta drill a hole into this you can kind of eyeball this. I'm sure if you really wanted to, you can get a, an exact, exact placement, but you know, we are DIY over here. So all I'm gonna do is something like this, and then make sure that's kind of good. Something like that. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my bit in there and just start it. Okay, there, I got a good spot. And it's pretty centered. It's somewhere in here, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm just gonna go ahead and drill it out. This was the T20 screw we used earlier, and it came like off of here, and kind of where it connected. So all I'm gonna do, start it. All right, so this, this plastic's really hard, so definitely gotta make this hole bigger. All right. Perfect. So go right in there. Some right here. So, I think we're good. <laughs> there it is, your DIY uh, fender eliminator. Put it back on. What was this? Just like that. I am gonna, uh, I'm gonna install some uh, turn signals. But, what I'm gonna do, instead of putting everything back, I'm going to use this wiring harness from the stock turn signals. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them and then just tuck them into the uh, up here so that way when I do get my little LED turn signals, I'll just be able to wire them up right to this. And I don't know which one's left and right, so we'll figure that out later. Just like that. Cover them up with tape. See that? Boom. Okay, so I got everything back in. Uh, basically, these are gonna get wired to uh, some LED strips. So I took off this little rubber, uh, this little rubber piece that goes under there, and it covers all of the wires. So I just wanted easy access to it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck it all in there for now, and then put this little lid this little lid back in. Okay. Show you guys here. Now it's all beautiful. Let's take that off. All the wires are in there. Accessible. 
Oh, put everything back. And then you got yourself a fender eliminator. Boys. Ooh. That is it. Check it out. Right there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and chop these off. These stupid little uh, reflectors, because I don't like them. Um, I don't know why I put my Dremel away. <laughs> but that's it. Save you guys some money. Fender Eliminator.